Good morning. Oh, it's, it's afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, welcome back. So today's topic, we're going to talk about how to build a dividend income portfolio fast. So most importantly, how to make how to build a dividend income uh, portfolio for income fast uh, and to tweak it a little bit more to make $250 per month, which will be $3,000 uh, on an annualized basis in dividend income. So if you are interested to know how to build a, uh, a just a quick and easy, small dividend portfolio how to, uh, that's going to produce dividend income fast, uh, a couple steps, a couple steps, uh, sure, for, sure uh, way of, of doing it. And if you're interested in uh, figuring that out, then uh, watch the video from beginning to end. Like, subscribe to my channel. And I'm not here to blow in any smoke. But just remember, before we talk, uh, before we go into detail, past performance does not guarantee future performance. With these particular stocks and ETFs, make sure that you do your own research. Uh, I am not telling you the, to do this, or I'm not telling you to buy these stocks to uh particularly to, to uh, you know yeah so I'm not, I'm not telling you to buy these stocks or or co coercing you i'm just uh picked uh, several stocks on the way these are my opinions this is for uh fun and for edu it's educational basis for us to learn and to see models and to see how you can leverage stocks in the stock market to make money but again i'm not telling you to go out and buy these stocks and then you end up losing money. Uh, so yeah, uh, so, some of these stocks I do have in my particular div dividend portfolio, but just because I, I'm i invested in it don't mean that uh, I'm encouraging you to do it. I'm just, hey, uh, do your own research. Past performance does not guarantee future performance. All right, since we get that, get that, get that out of the way. Uh, I particularly, I have five particular stocks and ETFs for you guys to write down and do research on to create a, a dividend portfolio to, to start to be able to make $250 in passive income per month, which would be $3,000 annualized basis uh, on, the year, on the yearly basis. And so the first stock is IEP. This is a MLP. It's called Icon. It costs $51.68. The dividend the dividend yield is 15.45%. Uh, it's, it's, it's an MLP. And actually, uh, for, for the past, I want to say 10 to 20 years, uh, this particular stock has actually beat the S&P 500. So I know you, you wonder like, how has this uh, subpar stock has beat the S&P 500 uh, because um, th this stock really doesn't uh, encompass growth. But it encompasses a lot of dividend income. That 15% is stable. Uh, so we'll also be aware of the the cons of this particular stock, which is that the, uh, the con one of the cons is that uh, uh, IEP or Icon, uh, their uh, president or CEO, he's a tremendous investor. But uh, we all know that usually a lot of times, like with, with certain companies or certain investments. Once they, the founder, once they leave, then uh, people to, to take over for their particular company uh, may not do as well as as the founder. So uh, he's alive, he's well, he's doing he's doing great. The stock is doing good, but just keep in mind, just in case if he were to pass away, um, it will be uh, a, a lot of just turbulence for this particular stock. Uh, but the reason why the stock has been the S&P 500 because the stock is paying. A 15% dividend yield. So even in down markets like this, it's steadily paying that 15%. And uh, yeah, you, you're acquiring more shares, and then those more shares are paying out more dividend income. So uh, this this stock pays two dollars uh, of two dollars per share per quarter. Uh, but overall, one share pays you, um, I want to say, eight bucks. Yeah, eight bucks. So that's a lot. <laughs> the the next stock the ETF is in, in, it's it's the king the king, Jeffy. Uh, this 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 bad boy pays on a monthly basis. It needs no introduction. 
in the in the past several keep keep an eye on Jeff because in the past several months it has is uh, is distribution not dividend it's distribution that has been paying out has been a, a little bit uh, uh, on the lower side. This I said this is a, a better option in terms of individuals who are closer to retirement and uh, they they're not going to have a job or may have a part time job so. The, the, the taxes piece is not going to really hurt them as much because they're going to be in, in a smaller tax bracket. Um, uh, because all, just keep in mind, like Icon, uh, Jeppy, and then the next one we're going to talk about Q, uh, QYLD. Just know that those distributions are are, are not tax friendly. It's going to be you're going to be taxed at your regular in- income tax level. So if you are in a high tax bracket, it's going to bring you to a higher tax bracket. But if you are closer to retire like you're 50 55 60 and you about to leave a job then essentially you really only gonna have social security and maybe dividend income or annuities or whatnot so you're going to be in a, in a tax bracket so regular income is not going to uh do you in as bad as if you, if you had like a 80 85 hundred thousand dollar job and then you also getting you know regular income from iep or jeppy of like twenty five thousand, like that will put you above whole threshold of a lot of taxes you have to pay. So keep that in mind. Uh, but with Jeppy and QYLD, QYLD is uh, seventeen dollars and eight cent. Uh, both both of these ETFs they pay on a, on a monthly basis. Keep that in mind. Jeppy has like eleven point five percent dividend yield. QYLD, as you see, has a twelve point two one percent. Dividend yield. It, it pays on a monthly basis. So, a lot of people in, in, in the dividend uh, investing community love uh, these two uh, ETFs. Now, uh, if you are in your 20s and 30s, not so much because, uh, yes, it pays monthly. You get a lot more bang for your buck. But again, uh, usually you, you want to like mix it in. Like, so, not just have uh, one of these two as your only. A particular stock or, or fund that you're investing into because um, if you are younger, like 20 and 30, you got to take, take consideration of those taxes unless you put this in like in like a, a Roth IRA. But the, the tax the taxes implication, you got to keep, keep in mind on that, paying money on the money that, that you earn, dividend income and whatnot. And so these are going to be taxed at regular income. So it's, it's the tax portion. And then also uh, when you are a lot younger, you still want your portfolio, you still want stocks or whatnot, that even if they are paying a dividend, that has a lot of growth uh, opportunity. And, and QYLD and Jeppy doesn't offer more so on the growth side. Now, there's other different products that's similar to Jeppy or derivatives of Jeppy, like Jeppy X or whatnot, but the, but the yield is not as high as Jeppy. So you're going to have to concede on whichever you want. So t- to simplify, uh, so we have Icon, IEP, we have Jeppy, we have QYLD to add in the portfolio because we, we're going to do a high yield stocks and it is different portfolio. It's going to help you along your journey for you to be able to make $250 per month, which would be $3,000 per year. Uh, the fourth stock to add into your portfolio was, is going to be SCHD. And the reason why you add this is that um, even though SCHD, uh, it, it costs seventy-two dollars and twenty-three cents. Uh, it's a low yielder. So out out of all the, the three prior, one was fifteen, one was like eleven and a half, and one was like twelve, twelve and a half percent. You want? I know you're wondering like, then why why are you saying to add SCHD also in this dividend portfolio? The reason why is diversification, diversification, diversification. Always be diversified. Uh, you know. Uh, when you invest to one single stock or one sing- single like commodity or whatnot, like Bitcoin, just Bitcoin, or just you know uh, Apple or just Tesla, uh, with little diversification, high risk, high reward, you're able to make a lot of, a lot more money, you know. But at the same time, if you pick wrong or you pick at a wrong time, you lose. The 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 opportunity for you to lose is a lot higher compared to uh, diversify your money amongst 100, 150, 200 stocks so that if one stock or two goes down, you have a basket of other stocks in that particular portfolio 
they can be, they, they can be able to help you in times of the market like right now where it's, it's uncertain where one day the market's up one day the markets go down b- banks are uh you know uh closing down and and not take you having you to do bank runs and not have you take your money it's a lot of things that goes on you know a lot of bad news you got the starbucks ceo in the news you got TikTok the ceo uh you know uh defending himself against congress it's, it's just too much just risk just invest into just one particular stock and so you have the other three particular stocks or etfs high yielders that is going to deliver a heavy punch into your portfolio but at the same time just in case you know something happened with I, uh, icon or something happened with jeppy or qyd you have scd of, of the etf that's going to grow in sure price appreciation and also the dividends and within uh SCHD is also growing at a clip of 11 to 12 percent. It's a win-win. You got, you got one where you keep your money, and you have a, a pocket of your money secure and diversified, and then you got your money into the other particular stock for ETFs that's a lot more risky, but more bang for your buck to utilize your money to be able to pay bills. And then la- lastly, the, the last stock, which is a SIN stock, which is Mo Altria Group uh, for individuals in the world that smoke tobacco, chew tobacco, um, vape, mo is your route to go. And if not, <laughs> uh, the invest in this bad boy uh, delivers a heavy punch. I have this in my dividend portfolio. And for each share, pays on an annualized basis of $3.76, which would be uh, on a quarterly basis at $0.94 cent per share per quarter. So that helps. And so in my in the next screen is, is I'm going to show you this quick example of I put the the goal is to make three thousand uh, dollars passively uh, through um, owning these five stocks. Uh, let me turn down this light because the sun just came out. There we go. So the sun just came out and we're like, whoa! Can, can y'all see me? <laughs> and so. Uh, here, right here, you have the, the dividend yields, you have the, the the current stock price and whatnot, and then the goal is uh, we're going to we're going to put ten percent of our money per month investing. We're going to invest into SCHD, and then the rest rest of the twenty two point five percent we're going to put into Jeppy, IEP, Mo, and QYLD. And the goal is to make two hundred and fifty dollars per month in passive income to figure out how to do it. So it says that the uh, the most that you have to contribute is $34,000 uh, to be able to make passive income of that. I'm going to break it down and show you guys how uh, to break that 34000 into smaller steps so that you can knock this out in five years. So in my next screen, you know, I got, I got it all planned out, baby. I got it all planned out. So base, basically, I got already right, right, started with a portfolio of two thousand dollars. You want to make, uh, you're going to be con- contributing uh, r- roughly four hundred dollars per month, which is two hundred dollars per check, uh, into this particular portfolio of five stocks: IEP, Jeppy, QYLD, SCHD, and then uh, Mo. And uh, hey, this portfolio is going to have a, a dividend yield of nine percent. It's not going to grow that much. And then so you're going to invest into this portfolio and you're going to see, you're going to look and see how long it's going to, going to take you for you to be able to make uh, $3,000 per year, which will be uh, something paying you out $250 per month passively, which you can use this to pay a phone bill, pay groceries, and then also keep, the, keep in mind this dividend income is also going to be growing as well. It's going to be growing. Uh, it's going to be growing because of mo, mo, the, the Mo dividend grows and then SCHD get dividend grows as well. The other ones are high yielders. So whatever money you put in, it's, it's going to spit out. And also, remember, also remember Jeppy and QY, QYLD pays their dividend out quarterly as well. So even with that as well, helps as well. So by in, investing and in, in sticking with your goal and st- staying consistent for about five or six years, 
you'll be able to hit, hit, hit your goal. And that's with just $200 per check. If you could do more, you can hit your goal, as you see, in, in a quicker fashion. And then if you just uh, stick with it for another four years, 10 years later, your, your portfolio will be worth $69,000 and it will be paying out $6,480. Uh, and then if you if you still if you still consistent just a couple more years just a couple more years your this dividend portfolio will be worth a hundred thousand and then it'll be paying out ten thousand dollars on a lot of basis I, I can't you know have a calculator for me to do how much that how much that would be on a uh monthly basis but that's passively that's you're not doing anything that's you just owning something and it's just paying you now imagine if you're able to uh put more money on a weekly basis. You got a side job, you got a side gig, you're able to figure out. Uh, this this is the secret to leveraging of the stock market to be able to make money through certain stocks. Now remember, past performance does not guarantee future performance. Make sure you do research on these stocks, IEP, Icon, JEPI, uh, QYLD. Do research, watch YouTube videos to understand what is JEPI, what does JEPI consist of? What does Q QYLD consist of? Um, why is the, 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 the dividend yield is so high? So just understand that. Uh, if you want to go go the route of owning some high yield stocks to uh, be able to make you money. But right here, it shows that by me just picking just five stocks, not not 10, not 20, just picking five stocks. Uh, some that's going to diversify your portfolio, some that's going to be just high yielders to be able to uh, pay your bills within five five years, five and a half years, by buying these by buying these stocks, you will not only have a portfolio that's going to grow substanti substantially, but you're also going to have a portfolio that's going to be paying you roughly three thousand to about five thousand dollars passively, and then if you add to it, it can it it will come out and it will uh produce a lot more. But the goal was was, was three thousand dollars, which was two hundred and fifty dollars dollars. $250 per month. But then what happens is that then a lot of people who like to try, what they try to do is, is that once they see that they can make uh, $3,000 annually, then they want, they want a lot of times want to try to get it to $10,000 annually, which is tough. $10,000 passively, passive income is tough. But if you stay consistent, you choose the right stocks, stocks that grow, their dividends, stocks that grow, and then, uh, several high yielders in your dividend portfolio, you definitely be able to achieve your goals quickly. So if you guys enjoy this lovely content, I hope I hope you guys enjoy and understand uh, what I was trying to do and, and to point out certain stocks and, and just the methodology and the, the mindset of understanding of buying a certain stocks, stay consistent, buying it per month, uh, familiarize yourself with stocks that you can utilize to pay your bills because at the end of the day, uh, if you don't have passive income, what are you doing? Uh, you're working a job or you are doing real estate, but you're putting in a, a lot of uh, time and effort into the real estate. But then what are you getting back passively? You have to deal with, deal with tenants and whatnot. These, you buy the stocks, you hold it, you reinvest in the dividend and you pick the five stocks, whatever it is, do the research, buy consistently and then it grows and it pays you more and then it pays you more and that's passive income and we all try to figure out ways of try to figure out how we can make passive income great ways of passive income so that's the video this how to build a dividend income portfolio fast pay you 250 dollars per month three thousand dollars annual uh and then contribute a lot more have your portfolio pay you a lot more and so guess what guys that's the video. That's the concept. Let's get this money. Like and subscribe to my channel. Watch my video all the way through. It's the wingman, Cadero Hudson. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's get this money. Join, join this journey of mine so that we can motivate each other and get this money. All right. Peace.